Jiu Jitsu 2000 and today we're gonna cook. So first things first, whatever pan that you're gonna use, make sure that it's not, you know, the soot, the black smoke and stuff, because you're gonna you're gonna get your pan nice and dirty. So make sure that it's not your favorite pan. So what I'm gonna make is some Alfredo noodles. And what I have in this cup is I have one and a half cups of water and half a cup of milk. I'm going to pour that in and I'm going to bring this to a boil. Make sure you keep your stove going. Got plenty of heat. Now, if you're starting to notice that your flame's not coming as high, you can remove this. You can use something like this to raise you up and then put this back on. And that's what I'm going to do. I want a little higher flame. You technically don't need this grid on top of that, but I like it that way. I'm going to use a little bit of butter. It calls for like one teaspoon, but I'm going to put a little extra. I like mine a little buttery. So I'm putting like two and a half teaspoons, or excuse me, tablespoons of butter in there. And of course the paper. We can put the paper right back in. Top of the stove there. So I've got a timer, and once once I get to a boil, I'm gonna go ahead and add my noodles and let them cook for seven minutes. But I gotta wait for this to get to a boil. So I'm just gonna maintain my heat, make sure I got good heat underneath. You can see by the condensation here on the bottom of the pan that things are starting to get hot. And I'm just feeding my rocket stove, making sure I got plenty of plenty of fuel in there. All the paper and things like that, they can go on the top. And you notice underneath in the bottom chamber I have a lot of good embers down there. And that's what helps this thing run well. So I'm just pushing forward, adding a little bit in more, more fuel. So I'm not ready for too much yet. But you can see that my butter is starting to melt. not quite to a boil yet but you can see the butter is melting and the things are getting hot so I'm just maintaining my fire these rocket stoves are a lot of fun they don't take much fuel to to cook with once you get them primed, they work really good. thing about these rocket stoves and the reason I choose foods like this like noodles and things mac and cheese and noodles is because you don't really have too much flame control I mean of course you could raise your pot up or move it off a little bit or something like that but it's better if you use this stove for things that can be boiled you know dry um, freeze-dried foods and things like that work real good now 
don't think that you can't cook eggs or sausage or something like that because you absolutely can. It's just you have to be a little more precise about how much flame you're allowing. And you notice that the fuel goes a little quicker once you get primed good. So once I start my boil, I'm going to add the noodles and start my counter and I want them to boil for seven minutes. But we're not quite there yet. Notice all the soot coming off. That must be, I must have a good piece of heartwood in there or pitch. type of wood that I'm using is juniper. Of course the wood type doesn't really matter too much. I'm checking the side. It's, it's hot to the touch, but it's not so hot that you have to remove your hand really quick. It's hot. It lets you know it's hot, but it's not like scolding hot where it's going to hurt you hot. I'm sure if I use vermiculite, the uh, side would be much cooler than it is by using dirt. And probably the same if I used ash, it would be much cooler. And we're almost to a boil. I love taking noodles and things like this in my pack because they're very easy to pack and they're not hard to prepare. And even if you didn't have like a rocket stove or anything like that, you could cook them right over a flame as long as you have a pan. Okay, we're starting to get a light boil. I'm going to go ahead and insert the noodles. And start my timer. It's just a very light boil right now. Look at how nice a boil that this stove does. You can tell by the boil that the flame is very distributed well. It's not a real centralized flame like you could find on some of these small backpack stoves. The flame is very widespread. You see the boil all the way around the pan. That's something I really like about these stoves. And our food is just about prepared. We're working on it. <laughs> this is the cordon bleu noodles. prepared on a Z rocket stove just for you oh my goodness what was that time's up ladies and gentlemen so I 
I know it looks a lot milky and it says in the directions to let it settle for two minutes and then we'll eat. So bon appetit, Jiu Jitsu 2000 style. So anyway, I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you appreciate the video. Rocket Stove is a very fun project to do. Cooking the noodles is easy. I'm going to let them settle for about two minutes. We're going to go inside and enjoy these noodles. So again, uh, feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe, like, share, thumbs up. And go out there and make yourself a rocket stove. Until next time, have a good day. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye now.